I feel like breakups are some of the best thing that can happen to a man, especially in the early days, right? Whether that's in high school, whether that's in college, post-college, you name it. Breakups really define, I believe, someone because you don't get that level of, of energy and motivation and desire that you can just create up the air, especially if someone breaks up with you and you feel like you lost someone. And it, it, might, it, it might be painful. And this is where it's important you have a strong mental frame um, because there's two ways you can handle a breakup. Yes, you're gonna have a ton of pain, you're gonna have hurt, you're gonna have this excess buildup of energy. Um, and some guys just end up like stalking their ex's stories and, and sending messages and doing all this bullshit. Like I said earlier, withdraw attention and then get focused and obsessed with self-improvement. Put that excess attention into improving yourself. Um, but yes, every time I've, you know, most, a lot of the, a lot of the people have even joined my program was after a breakup and they had incredible transformations. Like when you get broken up with, there's this thing that happens. Some men, a lot of men in relationships, they become comfortable. Okay. They have, they have the, their girlfriend. The girl they wanted. They have right. the girl they want. So they're like, okay, why do I have to work as hard? I already have her. When you're broken up with, there's this strong incentive to improve yourself so you can get back out on the field and attract a equal or higher mate. Um, and so that incentive is what drives us. We were, you know, human beings, we respond to incentives. And so that can be a strong incentive. Um, and, you know, whenever I had like a big breakup, I took that pain and uh, that excess energy and I just end up skyrocketing my business every single time. Dude, me too. Yeah. I, every single time I've, I've had a, a breakup, it's health or or money wise i think i've i've skyrocketed so thousand percent okay and if you if you do everything i'm saying okay if you do everything i'm saying you get like if you had her then and you withdraw attention and build your offer up and communicate well be a good person they're gonna come back they are they're gonna come back like without without fail um, so, but again, you just can't be the stalker type. You can't just be giving tons of attention. You can't be dissolving and wasting that energy. Um, and, and women naturally are looking for like the best possible mate. They're, uh, they're, they're, they're looking for that hypergamy. And so if you just get so focused on improving yourself, they will want to be with you. Yep. As long as you're not doing any weird stuff and not like kind of like, as long as you treat them well and you know, and there's a, all those good things are there, then they'll want to be with you.